the story of the universe told through movement and sound. 30 children from five different primary schools spent a week at Woodhorn Museum in Ashington. It ended with parents and teachers getting involved too in a performance of just some of what the pupils had learned on the Northumberland space programme. Things like how different types of stars behave. I've learned music and all about space. I used to really like space because of the galaxies and now I like it even more because there's new things to learn about it. You're going to go to secondary school next year, are you? Is that right? Yeah. Do you think you're more ready for secondary school now? <laughs> yes. You're going to be mixed up in lots of different classes, and which means that we've already basically made some friends instead of worrying all about it. They visited Kilda Observatory and Newcastle University. The infrared cannot see through glass. Learning from experts, scientists and enjoying the gadgetry. Why is it worth dragging them out of school for a week? I think it's really worth it because um, any extra support that you can provide for those children um, really goes a long way, especially when they move from year six to year seven. Um, so any of that kind of confidence boost that we can offer them over this week of very intensive work with them, very bespoke sessions to the individual children that we're working with. Her charity used Northumberland's dark sky status to inspire these local students with space. All of those here go to mainstream schools but have a range of special educational needs and disabilities. Their teachers saw the children's self-confidence improve markedly. To be able to see that they were all able not just to stand up and say their name but to perform, to move, to dance, to play an instrument has just been amazing. The hope now is that these youngsters will be more excited about the next stage of their education and ready to aim high. Tom Sheldrick, ITV News in Ashington.